The administration panel is the private area of the DMS in the hands of the administrator or the technical department, which is used to establish the rules and protocols through which the DMS will be used. We enter the authentication functionality. It is here where the administrator creates the users so that they can access the system. If the company uses Active Directory or LEAP, OpenKM integrates with these applications. In this way, the administrator does not have to duplicate the list of users. What we do have to take into account is that each user needs to be assigned a profile. The profiles allowed us to adapt the DMS to the needs of each user or group of users. For example, let's imagine that we work in a company that has a collaboration agreement with a university. This means that the students will come to the company to carry out their internships. The administrator can create a specific profile for this group of users. We access the default profile by clicking on the edit icon, the pencil. In the components tab, we deactivate the desktop and home dashboard areas. And we save the changes. We click on the edit button. We refresh the browser. Now let's think that we are a student accessing the DMS. As you can see, the OpenKM for students is very different from the DMS used by the regular staff. OpenKM is only an access to the repository for students, which allows them to carry out basic tasks. They can search for information, access content, but through this profile, they cannot perform more advanced actions, such as adding documents. It is a straightforward example, but it illustrates how simple it is to apply different usage cases. We return to the profile to activate all the work areas. For the changes made in the administration area to affect the public areas, it is necessary, or that administrator applies the changes outside of office hours, or ask users to refresh the browser. Again, we have access to all work areas.